Soldering. It's the most common and most cost-effective way to join copper pipes. Solder is an alloy of tin and other metals that melt at a relatively low temperature. When you melt the solder with a torch, it fills the gap between the fitting and the tube, making a watertight seal. To solder properly and safely, you'll need some special tools and materials. You should really start with a roll of solder. For plumbing applications, you want to make sure that it's lead free. You'll also need a canister of propane and a torch tip. I really like this one because it has a push button ignition. But if you don't have one like this, you can use a standard, but you need some way to light the flame either with a lighter or a striker. You'll also need a tubing cutter, some type of deburring tool, a pipe cleaning wire brush or emery cloth, soldering paste, which is sometimes called flux, and a clean, dry rag. Now for safety, you'll want to have eye protection, a fireproof heat shield, and you should have a fire extinguisher close by. Before you get started, make sure that you shut off the water and make sure that the pipes have no water in them at all. You also want to work in a well-ventilated area. Start by cutting the copper pipe with a tubing cutter. The cutter will make a clean cut on the outside of the pipe. But it's a good idea to use a deburring tool to ream the inside of the pipe. So the cutter itself has a blade on it, and that allows you to ream the pipe. Go like this, All right, and that can take away the deformation. Now if you're doing a lot of copper work, they make a reaming tool like this, and that's pretty handy. Now reaming ensures that the water flows more smoothly through the pipe. All right, so now once we've done that, we need to clean both the pipe and the fitting. So they make emery cloth. Now emery cloth, you can shine the outside of the pipe. Okay. But you also can use the emery cloth rolled up to clean the inside of the fitting. Okay. They also make a terrific brush that'll do the same. This is for inside the fitting, and this is for the outside of the pipe. Okay. So all right. now we're all clean. It's all clean. Now it's time to apply flux. And the flux gets applied to both the pipe and the inside of the fitting. Now it's time for solder. Unwind about 8 to 10 inches of solder from the spool and make a hook. Light the propane torch and put the tip of the flame against the middle of the fitting. Hold it there for 4 or 5 seconds. And you wait for that flux to bubble. You may need to move the torch a little to ensure that the heat is evenly distributed. Touch the solder to the opposite side of the pipe to see if it melts. If not, heat the fitting a little longer. If it does melt, press the solder into the joint until the hook completely disappears. As the solder melts, it will flow toward the heat into the fitting. It'll even flow upward. Then, being very careful to protect your hands, use a clean rag to wipe the joint. You'll want to remove any excess flux and smooth out any drips of solder. Once the pipe is cooled, you can turn on the water and check for leaks. That's about all there is to it. Soldering can seem daunting because it uses an open flame. And if you've never done it before, you may want to practice by making a few connections in a controlled setting without any obstructions. But once you get the hang of it, you'll find that soldering is a very useful skill that will allow you to install new fixtures and make repairs quickly and easily.